today I'll be showing a demo of the Power BI report templates that we have built at 2W Technologies to analyze data out of the Epicor ERP system. So first, a brief introduction about us. 2W Tech is a technology service provider specializing in solutions for the manufacturing industry. We're both an Epicor Gold Partner and a Microsoft Gold Partner, and we offer Epicor services, managed services, cloud solutions, IT infrastructure, and security solutions. We've built a few template reports in Microsoft Power BI that use the Epicor SQL database as the data source. We believe these reports contain metrics that a typical manufacturer using Epicor would monitor. There are hundreds of database tables in a typical Epicor database, so by using these templates, you're able to skip the process of searching for the right tables and developing the data model, and instead you can get right into analyzing the data. These templates can also be used as a starting point for further customizations or additional development of metrics that are important to your business. So the four template reports that we've developed are the executive summary, materials review, production review, and sales review. And these reports are available uh, over the web in the Power BI service, which is uh, through, Microsoft, or, uh, through Office 365. If you have a Power BI license assigned, all you need to do is log into the service using your Office 365 credentials, and then you can view any reports that you've been provided access to. So I'm logged into our Office 365 Power BI service, and you can see these are the four report templates that I have available. So this is our executive summary template. Uh, so this report focuses on invoices and orders. Uh, it also looks at open accounts receivable, accounts payable. Uh, so this first tab here is kind of the summary of the executive summary. Um, so you can see kind of at a glance all of your key metrics. You can see the breakdown of your open accounts receivable as well as your total AR. Uh, you can see the same view for your accounts payable with the total. Uh, and then down the side here, it gives you um, some summary views of your total open orders and number of open orders. Um, and then the month to date information for some of your invoices your shipped orders and your booked orders. So both the amounts and the um, number of orders. Uh, so the first tab here is a focused view on your open AR. Uh, so across the top, you can see how your AR breaks down into your different aging buckets. Uh, and then this chart here shows the breakdown of that AR by your customers. And then down below, you can see the detail information down to the individual invoices what the invoice and due dates were, um, and then the balance. Uh, with the filters across the top here, I can focus on a particular grouping. So for example, if I want to look at just the information that's over 120 days, I can click on that filter. And now I can see these are all my customers with AR that's over 120. Uh, and then I can take that a step further and I can pick uh, you know, this highest customer here. And I can see the invoices associated with that customer um, so I can kind of focus my attention on some of these invoices that have been outstanding for a really long time. Uh, I can also deselect that and I can clear my filters by clicking this reset filters button here. Uh, so in addition to that, I've also got this customer name filter. Um, so if I have a particular customer in mind, I can always just search in this filter. So for example, if I want to look at that same customer we just looked at, um, I can start searching for the name and I can make a selection right from this slicer. And now I can see for that particular customer how their AR is breaking down into across all of these buckets and you know check out all of these invoices. And then if I wanted to, I can actually take this information. I can use the, uh, the ellipses on this table and I can export the data to Excel. And now I can you know export it as a .xlsx or a .csv file. So I'm gonna reset my filters here. So the next tab, it's a very similar view, but now it's looking at the uh, accounts payable. Uh, so rather than looking at the customer, now we're looking at the vendor, but you have the same you know, groupings of buckets. Uh, you have the same view of the breakdown where you can see the bar is the, the balance and the line is the number of invoices. So it gives you a couple different views of the information. And then down below, you can see who the vendor is and um, the uh, AP invoices and the aging days, things like that. Um, so again, I can use the same filters across the top. I can look at, you know, my over 30. Um, I can click on that vendor and I can see these are the, the vendors where we're over 30 days um, uh, aging. 
uh, just like the last um, tab, I can I can search for a particular vendor uh, the same way in this filter and then focus in on a particular vendor. The next tab here is looking at uh, all of your open orders. Uh, so across the top, I can see what my total amount is, what my total orders are, and the quantity associated with those orders. And then I can see the breakdown of my open orders by different customers. So if there's a certain customer that has a ton of open orders right now, I can also see the open order amount by production group. And then I can actually see the details of the order numbers um, and the amount that's due. So I can see, you know, this is default sorted by the, the largest amount that's open. But I can change my sort order on the table by clicking the header. And now I can see what my longest outstanding open order is and kind of focus my attention there. If I want to look at just the month to date information, kind of what you saw in the summary, I can use this month to date button. And now I'm looking at just orders that were ordered in the last month to date. Uh, I can reset my filter. And maybe if I want to look at just 2020 data, uh, I can do a search for the beginning of 2020 and focus my attention on just the 2020 information. Uh, I can make selections in this chart. Um, so for example, on the right, if I want to look at this prod group, I can select that and I can see how my chart updated and now I can see within this group who the, the customer is with the most open orders and I can click on that and I can actually still see the details um, for both those selections down here below. So the next tab uh, you'll see is a, it's a similar view uh, but now we're looking at invoice information. So I am looking at my total invoices by customer. Uh, I can see Again, the, the total invoice amount, the total number of invoices, the breakdown by prod group, and again, the details below. The next tab here is shipped orders. So again, kind of keeping that consistent look and feel to it. So now we're looking at the shipped orders by customer, and I can actually drill down into any of these bars here. So for example, if I wanted to, so I can, I can look at a particular customer, for example, and I can see how their orders break down by production group, uh, and I can see the details down here. The last tab here, is the booked orders. So these orders that have, have been ordered but not necessarily have been shipped yet. Again, you can see by customer, by production group, and all of the detailed information uh, below. This is a, a great example uh, of a template where it kind of gives that higher level summary information and some key focused metrics that you know executives would be focused on on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, so that covers our executive summary templates. If you have any questions or if you'd like to learn more about how we can implement these templates in your environment, you can contact us by email at sales at 2wtech.com or you can give us a call at 262-686-5070. You can also visit the link at the bottom of this screen to test out a live version of one of the templates on our website. Thank you.